Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. Let's look at some of the things that have been donated to us for our Survive the Wild class. All right, friends, so there is a fantastic store up north called Shields, and they have donated to us in the past, and they donated again to us for our Survive the Wild class. So just to reiterate, you could watch all the playlists on it, but just to go over it again, Survive the Wild class is our J term, our January term, or this year it's going to be May term, where it's a standalone class for one week. We have seven days where we're going to only do that. So I chose Survive the Wild slash Camping Skills because I think it's a really cool thing to do and I think it's useful skills. I think uh, it also, along with all the things involved, it teaches problem solving, it teaches perseverance, it teaches critical thinking, and I believe those are a necessary thing for young people moving forward. So let's go ahead and dive into this and let's see what Shields donated to us. So one thing we'll do is we will go out in the woods probably for two days and we'll spend time out there at the end of the class and practice the things that we learned earlier in the class. So fire making, um, shelter building, might be water purifying, so we'll have to eat out there. So Shields donated Alpine Air freeze-dried meals. So we have a creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. We have three cheese chicken pasta, apple or cinnamon apple crisp, and Mexican style veggie bowl with rice and beans. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the kids think of those. I've never had this brand, this Alpine Air, but I've heard a lot of good about it. So we'll try those, see how they work, and see how they taste. Next thing, we have a ditty bag set. So you can put all your um, miscellaneous parts or pieces, and the picture here, it has a um, like tent pegs. You could put some cooking utensils in here maybe. So this will be a nice little handy thing to have out there in the woods. We have a compass, very useful tool. Um, in past classes, we haven't gone into like map reading or compass reading so much, but that's one of the things I wanna stress in this class, how to read a map, how to use a compass along with that map. Okay, we got a little pocket saw, a little, you hold the, the little rings here, and then you use that as a saw. We'll see how it cuts. We have a plastic or rubber repair kit. I'm not sure if we'll get to use that because we're not gonna do a whole lot of camping with tents, but we might be able to use that on a pair of boots or something. We have a whistle. This will probably come in real handy when we have different groups at different areas, and if I need to gather everyone up, Maybe I can just blow this and have everyone come to the sound. We have an emergency blanket. These things are awesome. I have a video on this. Um, I believe it's in the playlist and you can watch that video. These things are effective. So you should check that out. Very, very cool thing. Fantastic. We have some paracord. We have a hundred foot of paracord. This stuff is so useful. One of the other things I want the kids to learn is different types of knots, and this will be great to teach that. We have a headlamp. Man, headlamps are so, so useful. I use one almost every single day, and man, without them, you have to hold a flashlight and only have one hand. With them, you have your headlamp, and you can use both hands. Great tool. And last but not least, we have a fire disc. So I'm really curious about how this is going to work and I am planning on having us make our own using um, looks like sawdust, some wood chips, and then maybe some wax. And there's also some other ways to make little fire starters that I'm going to plan on doing also. So that is the donation 
that Shields has donated to us this year. You'll see a lot of the stuff used in the videos, but I wanted to show you all that we were given by a fantastic company called Shields. So thanks so much Shields for donating, donating all this. Remember folks to work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.